Could this be the technology that takes future travel back to where Concorde last went almost 20 years ago? Aircraft which promised to transport passengers across the Atlantic in half the time they're used to. Travel is following in the footsteps of celebrities and the rich who enjoyed the first days of supersonic commercial travel. Now there's a promise it'll be back. Supersonic is back, back in a big way. It's here to stay, and it's going to be more mainstream than it's ever been before. We can reduce the cost of supersonic by 75%, which means this is going to be available to tens of millions of passengers. United Airlines has agreed in principle to buy jets from a Denver-based startup, Boom Technology, bringing back supersonic passenger travel, which ended with the last Concorde flight in 2003. For nearly 30 years, the aircraft, which used much more fuel than regular planes and was criticised for its environmental impact, was only accessible to those with very, very deep pockets. But United believes the demand is there. We see strong demand between London Heathrow and New York as soon as this product is available. Lots of people want to go. Concord was permanently grounded three years after the aircraft's only crash, which killed 113 people. But the planes still hold a special place in history. This one of the most viewed exhibits at the National Air and Space Museum in Virginia. Concorde failed in part because it was so expensive to run and the big question for the future is whether supersonic passenger travel really can be commercially viable. The museum's director says there are hurdles to climb reducing noise and fuel consumption but new technology will help. The car that you drive today is far more fuel efficient than the car you drove even 10 or 15 years ago so the same thing is happening in in aviation where there are new technologies, new um, economies of scale, new efficiencies that really do change that dynamic. United Airlines will be aiming to deliver its supersonic program whilst meeting its pledge to become carbon neutral by 2050. A prototype is due to make its first journey in the next year. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Virginia.